Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. 我们的节目提供多种语言，请看 suprememastertv.com 斜线 schedule. Besides being an outstanding athlete. Mr. Dang is also a successful investor and has been investing in real estate since 2004, with 125 million U.S. dollars in holdings. He was included in the online news site Black Economics 2020 Power List of the 100 most influential Black people in the U.K. Continue watching to find out more. Happy viewers, I am Babu. If you ever visit the Gambia, the smiling people will cheerfully say "Abide," which means "Hello" in Mandinka, a language spoken in the nation. Welcome to our program, Successful Refugees and Immigrants Leading the Way, Part Five: NBA Ironman Luandeng. For various reasons, throughout history, people have been forced to leave their homelands and find refuge in other countries, thus allowing them to rebuild their lives and reclaim their dignity. Others have voluntarily migrated to other nations simply for better educational or economic opportunities. There are countless stories of those overcoming many adversities and succeeding in enhancing their new surroundings with their immense skills and talents. Many have made notable contributions to their adopted countries in the fields of art, economics, education, science, sports, etc. In this series. Successful refugees and immigrants leading the way. We will profile prominent individuals who have enriched the nations to which they have arrived and contributed to the greater good of our world. Today, we introduce Luan Deng, who was a two-time National Basketball Association or NBA All Star. An respected player, compassionate in nature, he is also a philanthropist and humanitarian. Luol was born in what is now South Sudan on April 16, 1985, when he was three years old. To escape Sudan's internal conflict, his family fled to neighboring Egypt. There, all eleven members of His family were crammed into an apartment with only three rooms. In 1993, the Deng family moved to the UK after the British government granted Lwal's father political asylum. While in Egypt, Mr. Deng met the late NBA player Manut Bal. Also born in what is now South Sudan, who taught him the fundamentals of the game and laid the foundation for him to become an NBA player. After moving to the UK, Lwal continued to play basketball and studied at St Mary's Roman Catholic High School in Croydon, a town in South London. He joined England's 15 and under national basketball team. And represented Croydon at the London Youth Games. Later, being inducted into the Games Hall of Fame. At the age of 13, he played for England in the European Junior Men's Qualifier Tournament or EJMQT in Portugal. And was named the most valuable player or MVP of the tournament. He also led England to the EJMQT finals and earned his second MVP award. 
At 14 years old, Luol moved to the U.S. and attended New Jersey's Blair Academy, a small private high school. He was named a 2002-2003 All-American, an honor given to amateur U.S. athletes and first-team All-America by the USA Today newspaper and Parade magazine. Roll was one of the 10 finalists that season for the Naismith Prep Player of the Year Award and ranked second in the top 100 high school basketball players ranking. After graduating from Blair Academy, Roll chose to attend Duke University, which has one of the elite college basketball programs in the U.S. on an athletic scholarship. In 2004, he was named the National Collegiate Athletic Association, or NCAA, Atlanta Region Most Outstanding Player and selected to the National All Freshman Team by Rivals.com, CollegeInsider.com, and Basketball Times. After just one season at Duke University, Lowell was selected with the seventh pick in the 2004 NBA Draft by the Phoenix Suns, but was immediately dealt on draft day to the Chicago Bulls, where he played for 10 seasons, 2004-2014. Mr. Ndengue was a dedicated player and proved his value every year. Why a bull? Well known as an Iron Man, Open was the team's leading scorer and helped Chicago make eight playoff appearances. He was one of the Bulls' best perimeter defenders and his offense also played a key role in their success. Luan Deng was traded to Cleveland Cavaliers in 2014. After the season ended, he left to sign a two-year contract with the Miami Heat. Later, Roll played for the Los Angeles Lakers for two seasons and then the Minnesota Timber Wolves from 2018-2019. On October 17, 2019, Mr. Ndeng signed a one-day contract with the Chicago Bulls to retire as a team member. Adventurous viewers, we will pause now for a constructive message. We'll be right back to cover Luan Deng's many accomplishments in the NBA. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Successful Refugees and Immigrants Leading the Way, Part 5. NBA Ironman Luan Deng on Supreme Master Television. Mr. Ndeng averaged 18.8 points per game in the 2006-2007 season, setting a career high. During his 15-year career, he averaged 14.8 points, 2.3 assists, and 6.1 rebounds in 34.3 minutes per game. Roll won many awards, including the NBA Sportsmanship Award in 2006-2007, honoring the player who best exemplifies ethical behavior, fair play, and integrity on the court. He was named to the 2004-2005 All-Rookie First Team, selected as an NBA All-Star in 2012 and 2013, and named to the 2011-2012 NBA All-Defensive Second Team due to his tough defense. Mr. Ndengo was a member of Great Britain's Olympic National Basketball Team during the 2012 Olympic Games in London and became the cover star for NBA Live 09 and NBA Live 10 video games in the UK. He also received the 2013-2014 J. Walter Kennedy Citizenship Award given by the Professional Basketball Writers Association to a player, coach, or trainer for outstanding service to the community. 
Besides being an outstanding athlete, Mr. Ndenge is also a successful investor and has been investing in real estate since 2004 with 125 million US dollars in holdings. He was included in the online news site Black Economics 2020 power list of the 100 most influential black people in the UK. Although Mr. Ndenge was a prominent ball player, his influence has been felt far beyond the NBA. Luol is a humanitarian activist and generous philanthropist. He has been active in championing refugees' rights and basketball in South Sudan in general, and in particular, helping the nation's vulnerable children. Luol provided 30,000 US dollars to the charity Save the Children in 2014 for child protection services in his homeland. He created the Luol Deng Foundation, or LDF, a non-profit organization that renovated an 800-student primary school in South Sudan, runs youth basketball camps for the South Sudanese diaspora, and helps build outdoor basketball courts in Africa. To date, the LDF has taught basketball to over 1,000 people in Juba, bringing local communities together in the process. In 2006 and 2007, Mr. Ndenge went to Europe, Asia, and Africa with the NBA for the Basketball Without Borders Tour. In 2008, he was given the Humanitarian Award by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. Roll is known for his work on behalf of the Lost Boys of Sudan and other refugees. He has been a spokesperson for the World Food Programme as well. In 2010, Mr. Ndenge returned to South Sudan with the UNHCR and visited a refugee camp in Kenya. He has lent his voice to the refugee cause through social media. The UNHCR featured Luol Ndeng in a video highlighting his success story and the Sudanese refugees' hopes. Mr. Ndeng has also been actively promoting peace in his native South Sudan and supported the Enough Project's Darfur Dream Team Sister Schools program. He recorded a public service announcement for the non-profit in which he said to young people, look around you and reach out. Make peace among those who are fighting, forgive one another, and encourage others to forgive. Build trust with people who fear each other. You are young, and if you are wise, you will build bridges with people your age that will last a lifetime. In 2015 and 2017, Rwandan captained Team Africa in the NBA Africa Games. He also often participates in youth development initiatives in Africa. In 2018, he gave great support on social media for the We Will Rise Together project, which helped build schools in Ghana. In 2019, Luol was elected the South Sudan Basketball Federation president. The following year, the Basketball Africa League, or BAL, a new professional league featuring competition between 12 existing teams from across Africa, appointed Mr. Ndeng as the BAL Global Ambassador. He uses basketball to inspire young Africans and helps increase the visibility of BAL around the world. Mr. Ndeng, calling himself a proud refugee, has expressed support for them worldwide, irrespective of their religion, and supported policies 
that welcome them. Rwanda has proven to us that refugees, when given a chance, can make a significant contribution in whatever field they are in and leave a positive mark on our world. A big salute to all difference making migrants and Rwanda in particular for showing us the great potential of those who settle in new lands. Generous viewers, it has been a pleasure to have you with us today. May you always make the best use of your talents to encourage others in heaven's love. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash gpgw.